Hello and welcome to this video on pre-retirement checklist, two years to go. The process of preparing for retirement can bring up a wide range of feelings. There is the joy of making travel arrangements, sleeping in on Mondays, and saying goodbye to the manager. There is also the excitement of saying goodbye to the boss. There is also the worry that you will run out of money before you die, that you will become bored, or that you will make a significant financial error that would result in a massive tax burden. Here is pre-retirement checklist with two years to go. Know the numbers. Ignore the numbers. The field of retirement is rife with numbers that seem to have a great deal of weight. In the broadest sense, they are helpful, sometimes even merely for the shock value they provide. For instance, they are able to inform you if you have a significant gap in your savings. There is no room for debate regarding the necessity of familiarizing yourself with concepts such as the 4% rule and the 80% rule. When compared to your final year of employment, it is likely that your retirement spending will be about one-fifth lower than it was throughout your working years. The next rule is the 25x rule, which states that you should multiply the amount of your annual budget by 25, and that will give you the number you need to retire comfortably. Do you estimate that your annual expenses total somewhere around $75,000? According to the 25x rule, you'll need approximately $1.9 million in savings by the time you retire. It is a good idea to compute figures using these principles written on the back of the proverbial envelope, so that you can have a feel of whether you are on track to have enough saved up before you stop working. Yet, you shouldn't let yourself become emotionally invested in these numbers. Because of the wide range of individual situations, generic retirement planning guides are not often particularly helpful when it comes to actually creating a personal retirement strategy. Because investments that are typically considered safe for retirement, such as government bonds, are earning so little these days, the 4% rule is the most dubious statistic of all. In the meantime, pensioners living on a low income frequently spend more than 80% of the income they earned during their working years. Those who are in generally good health when they retire typically have lower overall health care costs during their golden years. These numerical instructions will provide you with an overview of your retirement, after which you may move on to analyzing your specific real-life circumstances in further detail. Account for all your stocks, bonds, cash and social security. Start by determining how much money you have in the bank. Make an accurate assessment of all of your assets and liabilities, and make sure you have a good grasp of your personal balance sheet. This piece of advice may appear to be self-explanatory, but there is a possibility that you will overlook an important detail, such as the degree to which the decision of when to begin collecting social security will affect the amount of money you have accessible, or how significantly the earnings you receive on your assets can shift over the course of five years. Consider how much the number you come up with can be eaten up by factors such as inflation and property taxes. Have a plan to pay off your debt you are going to have to deal with the following unsettling fact. Those who are retired will no longer receive bi-weekly wages, but they will continue to be responsible for monthly payments. According to the findings of a survey conducted by Transamerica, 46% of retirees have financial obligations other than their mortgages. The planning for one's retirement could be in jeopardy as a result of this. There was a time when carrying any debt into retirement, even if it was just a mortgage, was regarded as a grave error. Becoming mortgage-free by the time you turn 65 may be out of reach for a lot of people in this day and age. What with the proliferation of easy, low-cost refinancing options and the trend toward larger mortgages. Continue working until all of your debts, including your credit cards, auto loan, and student loans, are paid off. This is the best course of action for many types of retirement plans. When you have a consistent income, the interest on your debt will consume a growing proportion of it as it accumulates. Formulate a plan for your financial outlays. Consider the increased first-year costs of retirement to be similar to startup charges. Many people grossly underestimate these costs. There is a possibility that your expenditures will be higher than expected, and if you decide to downsize your house, you will incur closing charges. Travel expenses will likely exceed your expectations. 
That is a natural occurrence throughout retirement, and you can get ready for the associated expenses by formulating a spending plan in advance. Here's one number to keep in mind. Decide on your drawdown strategy. Maximizing your income while limiting the portion that goes to the government is one of the more challenging aspects of retirement. When it comes to taxes, retirement presents a number of challenges for the majority of individuals, including required minimum distributions, tax-free income from Roth IRAs, and Medicare income limits. Consider the following as food for thought. The window of opportunity to make tax-advantaged Roth conversions is between the time you retire and the time you begin receiving Social Security benefits. When you are in a lower tax band, you should pay income taxes on your traditional IRAs so that you can subsequently benefit from tax-free withdrawals from your Roth IRA. Consider this as just one illustration of why it is essential to give some thought to drawdown procedures well in advance of retirement. Managing difficulties that are related to taxes can be complicated, and making a decision that is incorrect can cost you actual money. It is in your best interest to seek the assistance of a professional in this aspect of your retirement. Invest some effort in educating yourself about annuities. Because they offer an efficient method for consolidating your accounts and providing a constant retirement payout, annuities can be a key component of your drawdown strategy and should be considered as such. In recent years, these vehicles offering a guaranteed income have been given a poor reputation for good reason. Certain annuities are difficult to understand and come with a lot of fees, making them unsuitable for a lot of people. This indicates that you need to devote sufficient time to gathering information on annuities. An easier-to-understand annuity strategy typically yields greater results. Investigating single premium immediate annuities, also known as SPIAs, is something you should do because these variations on the annuity approach are rather simple. When it comes to Social Security, timing is everything. You are surely aware that those who delay starting their Social Security benefits are eligible for greater monthly payments later on in life. The difference can be significant. Postponing retirement to age 70 can result in an almost 75% increase in benefits. If everything else stays the same, deferring the decision is a smart thing to do. But, because each person's circumstances are unique, no two situations are ever exactly the same. When it comes to making decisions regarding Social Security, men frequently fail to take into account the impact that their wives' payouts will have on the overall picture. This is a reality that has been brought to my attention on multiple occasions by the author of a book on retirement, Liz Weston. In a nutshell, married men have a tendency to claim their benefits earlier, which results in a significant reduction in the monthly checks that are given to their widows later in life due to the fact that women live longer than males. On the subject of the topic, entire papers have been written. It is smart to make plans in advance when it comes to your retirement assets in order to delay receiving benefits from Social Security. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, like, share and be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.